It's time for the Thunder God! <laughs> or is it the God of Thunder? Find out shortly. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Well, welcome! Yeah. <laughs> Give all the special effects. Yeah, we'll have a few. Yeah, yeah. 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 We start, do, do we need to get a stick? Put it yeah, in yeah. your teeth? <laughs> 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 I just eat it. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, hey, we're talking about uh, the uh, Thunder God uh, Stout from Fulton Brewing Company out of the oh. Twin Cities, uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, St. Paul. I should know this, but uh, I suppose it says on the can here if I look here in a little bit. But anyway, out of uh, Minnesota here, Fulton's been around for a little while now, and uh, we've tried some of their other beers oh, yeah. on the show. So, but uh, this one is a, uh, a lot of good brews. Yeah, yeah. Sweet and, Child uh, of Vine. Sweet mm-hmm. Child of Vine is probably the. Oh yeah, yeah three hundred. Yeah. Uh, Lonely blonde. Lonely blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So hey, yeah, they get they got a bunch. So mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> I'd say it's more grave. <laughs> Heavy on the low one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wear this hat. <laughs> He's getting making me wear his hat every show now. He looks good in that hat, doesn't he? <laughs> Distinguished. Comments below. Greg right. looks, good, looks good. I need a hat. pair of suspenders or something. Oh no, no, no. no. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Or maybe some golfing pants. Oh, there you go. Okay. At <laughs> any anyway, rate, this is this is a, a big stout uh, from uh, from uh, uh, Fulton, and uh, uh, just you know, it comes in at seven point five percent on the ABV wow. and twenty IBUs. So okay, light so a little on the, bit higher, but not as yeah, not as bad as you'd expect. No, no, yeah. no. But or uh, hope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whichever the case may be. That was a, with a name of like that, God of Thunder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you can lift the can. Oh, Thunder God, I'm sorry. Wow. Thunder God. Well, I don't like to brag. You know, I've been working out. Oh. Well, you know, only, it's like Thor. Only the righteous uh, are able oh. to lift the hammer, right? Oh, right don't right, huh? don't let him. Don't. Oh, I no. like the way you think, there, Shane. Oh, That's no. why he's the producer, and you just be quiet over there. I hear all this talk about how righteous he is. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Stout with maple syrup, uh, oh. harvested in Minnesota, hmm. uh, vanilla, and cacao nibs. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But again, uh, 7.5% and uh, 20 IBUs. And it comes in 16-ounce uh, pounders, uh, cans. I, and I don't know if it comes in any other formulation other than at the brewery, of course. Uh, but uh, interesting uh, looking beer. Got this, uh, I thought, of you guys. I thought uh, we're, you know. Well, we're some Viking-ish yeah, guys. Kinda, huh? Yeah, yeah. Heavy on the thunder part, I know that. <laughs> That's another story for another day. Uh <laughs> I'll go ahead and crack her oh, on yeah, open. Yeah, do that. And we're part oh. of it. <laughs> <laughs> None goes to waste around here at Beer yeah, Guys no TV. Kidding, no frugality. Yeah. Right. Wow, that's a dark looking beer right there. As it should be for a nice, oh, yeah. uh, nice stout. And you get some too, Brent. Well, thank you for I'm, taking uh, pity on me. I'm like that. Oh. oh. Even look though. At you. Hey, look at me. I'm. Hey, I got ripped off. Oh, well, uh, huh. you, you poured it. <laughs> I ripped myself off. No, that's okay. I, as we say on Beer Guys TV, never drink and drive. Always use a designated driver. I'm my own DD today, so this, that's probably plenty because it's it's seven and a half percent. That's plenty. And uh, anyway, it looks like a uh, Minneapolis, by the way, Fulton Brewing out of Minneapolis. I, I knew that, but I, I doubted myself for a moment, which is you know I shouldn't because I'm the G man. I'm always right. Ask Carol. <laughs> There's your righteous come out. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. Self-righteous. Uh, <laughs> well. Well. Hmm. Ah, Thunder God. Well, uh, again, obviously a, a big stout. I'm, I'm interested to see how the maple syrup uh, plays out in there and the vanilla and the cacao nibs. I kind of smell the uh, vanilla there a little bit. Warming it up there uh, a little bit there, Brent? I am. Yep. Getting some of those flavors to kind of open up. Mm-hmm. It'd be kind of funny if you. There's kind of, a lot going on there. Yeah, there really is. Well, uh, it, it's it's definitely dark, dark. Usually, sometimes you can kind of see a uh, little specks of light come through. Not in this one. This no, one, this uh, one's definitely uh, due to the cacao opaque. nibs. Due to the cacao nibs. Ah. Uh, yeah. 
Huh, little, little, that that lends itself to that would make sense. <laughs> dark darkening it up. <laughs> yeah, dark 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 beer to start with, and you throw in some dark cacao nibs. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's dive in and do some tasting here. I like the way you uh, t- speak, there, Mister uh, Zeppelin. Hmm. Wow, it tastes different than I expected from more from the smell that uh, to me. And definitely a dry mouthfeel to that one. Yeah. You concur on that one? I concur. He concurs. I concur. Oh, thank you, Shane. You're welcome. I'm right. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get one thing right. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hat. See? <laughs> I know. Not I'm... only do you look smart, <laughs> but now you are becoming smart. <laughs> oh, wow. I should have had this uh, hat a long time ago. <laughs> Ask those who know me best, right? <laughs> so what do you think on this one? Should we start out with uh, Mr. Zeppelin on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's yeah. start out with me. All right. Okay, it's all you, Shane. I think I'm I'm somewhat ready. i got to take a few more sips here. Okay, let's okay. Let's take some more uh, yeah, yeah. taste tests. A little uh, kind of revisit the palate here just a bit. Thunder God. I don't know how they uh, arrived at the name, but... Uh, um, yeah, anyway, it's uh, Fulton Brewing... Uh, I like that they put on the can here. Ordinary people brewing extraordinary beer. Mm-hmm. And and they've been, you know, a lot of a lot of the smaller breweries have had a tough time with the pandemic deal and all that, and they they, they seem to be hanging in there. Uh, good for them. Um, I don't know where they, you know, if they get the uh, the maple syrup. I know they, it's Minnesota harvested, but I'm not sure where. Uh, I don't know if they said on there, but uh, that's good that they. Uh, reciprocate in, in with yeah. other Minnesota places, yeah. So there you go. Well, okay. So I will start. Okay, have at it, Shane. By the description, yes, it's like when you were a little kid and you went into the cupboard and you thought you were gonna grab that <laughs> hunk of chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> thinking it was semi-sweet chocolate or even milk chocolate. You uh-huh. thought, wow, this looks oh, good. Look Mom's good. never going to know. Big junk, too. <laughs> Mom's never going to know. <laughs> right? And, yeah. And you take a bite out of that, <clears throat> and after a couple chews, you realize there's no sugar in it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so not quite that bad, but I expected this to be like a super sweet stout with the maple... Yep. Vanilla, yep. Uh, the cacao, cacao nibs. Right now, cacao nibs are that dark chocolate without mm. sugar. Yep. Um, but when I took a sip, it was like, "Wow, this is not sweet." I mean, it's a hint, yeah. just a hint of sweetness. Mm-hmm. But I do get a hint of maple, not overpowering. I get a little hint of vanilla, but to me, the cacao nibs or the the chocolate, the cocoa takes over okay so and it's just it's a really dark flavor almost a bitter chocolate flavor um i like it yeah because i like that flavor sure i i mean i'll admit that i'm one of those guys who takes a bowl of vanilla ice cream and i'll find the cocoa powder yeah all right and i'll scoop cocoa powder just just the, just the, the cocoa powder okay on that ice cream and then just kind of Kind of mix it in just a little bit, kind of chop it in a little, and then I get that cocoa flavor. But then it hits the back end with the sweet vanilla. Ah. I like that flavor, and I and I hence I like this flavor. Um, I wish there was a little bit more going on with the vanilla and maple. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a hint of it in the aroma. I mean, the aroma to me, the taste, other than not being sweet, it's no surprise. It's it's pretty much. The aroma you get, the flavor you get. Sure. Uh, to me, it's a try it because I don't know if that's this is for everybody. I would personally buy one of these, maybe two of these, and enjoy that. I don't know that I could buy, you know, I couldn't have more than one at a sit down. Oh, sure, yeah. But I, I think I, for me, it's a try it. Okay, fair enough. Good, uh, good job. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, we know that one serving just isn't enough, so there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. 
And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. Uh, we'll, just work, we'll just work down the line this time. You can anchor this one, Brenton. Oh, well, there you go. Or unless you were... That's you, all right. I can go ahead and do that. Do you, unless you had your heart set on... Uh, Age before beauty. Go ahead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Got me on that one. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, twofold. Twofold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing some of my hat. Uh, yeah, well, I, I get uh, most of like what you were saying, Shane. I get a little bit, maybe just a tick more sweetness uh, than you, uh, mm-hmm. sounds like you do. But uh, yeah, definitely is a dry, dry finish, dry mouthfeel to it. Um, the, the, the dark chocolate definitely is a standout here. The, the maple, you can smell it and you, and you, can, you can taste it. And, um, but it's not like you. I'd like a, just a little bit more of that. Mm-hmm. And the vanilla is kind of there. And sometimes... It, the problem is sometimes the vanilla, if, if it's overdone, it gets that kind of fake vanilla taste and that mm, can, can yeah, ruin it. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it, they didn't overdo it there. And I'd rather have that than, than, the, than the other. So, um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's uh, for me, it will also, as we do on Beer Guys Tea, try it, buy it, skip it is, is the way we rate them. And um, I would go with a, a strong try it. I, like you, I would like this probably more than most people. I know that like some stouts, they might or might or might not like this because of the the, the, the dry uh, mouthfeel to it in mm-hmm. the edge. But I kind of like that myself. So uh, a strong try it from, from me. So a right. couple of strong try it's and yeah. over to uh, Brenton Anderson. Yeah. Anchors away, old buddy. All right. <laughs> It's hard to add more to what you guys are doing, yeah. You know, what you guys have already said. Um, I know when it comes to these stouts and they add the maple, that is definitely one of those things that you, it's a kind of a fine line. You you could do overdo the maple, mm-hmm. and that kind of does what vanilla yeah. does. It gets it's almost yeah, sound, yeah. it's it's like it's. Yeah, it's chemically fake. Yeah, is what it yeah. almost tastes like. Yeah. this they didn't do that with. Um, but then you can have other stouts where they say there's maple in there, and you're like, where? Yeah, oh yeah. right. You know, yeah. Oh, you put one leaf in it. Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, but um, and beings, everybody's palate's a little bit different. You know, for me, this one, um, the maple kind of shot straight down the center of my tongue. Yeah. Um, I, I picked it up right away, but it doesn't stay there very long. No. I agree. Um, I do get a hint of the vanilla. I get your normal kind of stoutiness, but you're right about the cacao. It's mm-hmm. there and it, and it's, and it works well with what they're doing. It does. Yeah. Very much. Um, I definitely would try this. A strong try. Okay. Um, but I also like stouts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... When I do, I you know I get sucked in if I'm looking at the shelf and I see oh it's got, it's got, well it's got maple goodness in it and it's yeah. got nuts and it's got this and it's got oh I know <laughs> you know what I mean it's gotta almost get, like you think of I think of a stout almost like a, it's almost like a a beer Sunday sometimes yeah yeah yes. those descriptions yes um you know I have I've had the I've had uh, porters too that are kind of on the on the this mm-hmm. i was expecting this one to maybe be more of like a dessert stout you know mm-hmm. well, yeah the way it sounds yeah but the but no it, it it it's yeah it's got some sweetness it's sweetness with that dry finish so you know i would definitely try it you got nothing mm-hmm. to lose to try it it's yeah. not a bad oh, beer yeah, at all. yeah no you're not gonna you're not gonna be go oh that is that uh, yeah. well you would hope not yeah but, right well but, maybe somebody <laughs> if you're a a light beer drinker, maybe, but maybe, uh, yeah. But but it, we we try to keep them in the category that they're that 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 they're in. So sure. if if you like stouts, I think this would definitely be worth a, a solid try. I would say this is a more in the lines of a dessert stout style yeah. than a straight up stout. I mean, a straight up okay, stout. Like, you know, I mean, if you're looking for the straight up, sure, like Guinness, which is like a to to us a light stout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
because it's just thin on on uh, it's a thinner beer. But if you're looking for the, just that dark flavor and a straight up beer, this is not it. You it, this is going to be a lean towards the the dessert beer, mm -hmm. but on the lighter side of the scale. Yeah, sure. Yep. So there's the heavy dessert beers. Uh, we've tried one. Um, well, recently we did the Twin Bang. Oh yeah, and yeah. That, that was a. And so yeah. that one there was. Um, a little bit more dessertish. Yeah, yeah, right? but but still, that still kind of fell back towards that lighter side of things. Yeah, though. it wasn't a heavy dessert. I mean, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a syrupy. Right, well, like yeah. some of the lactose stouts get yeah. to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I would agree. I think um, now, if you want to kind of start venturing into that, you you know maybe you're a stout drinker of a Guinness or even a stronger stout of a, a little bit darker stout. And you want to kind of start kind of working your way into something that's a little bit more sweet. This this is probably a good starter for that. You know, this one to me would be this is this would be a great time to take that one out of the cooler. Mm -hmm. Is when you're sitting, it's a little cooler, it's a little fall action oh. going on, sitting around the campfire. Yeah. And I'm not one for I'm not very you know I don't I'm not huge on the s'mores. But a s'more with this could maybe yeah. work out pretty good. I can see that. Or if you wanted a breakfast beer with your pancakes. Oh, yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would work, too. Yeah. Um, all kinds of options. Because you have a little pancake action, mm. a little maple I, sausage. Yeah. Well, I was just <laughs> going to mention that, that uh, smoked beef stick oh, uh, would yeah. probably match this pretty well. Yeah. The smokiness from that. you got Because maple, I mean, if you haven't had a maple sausage in the morning, then you're missing out. Yeah. Um, so you got, because that pairs well. I mean, the maple with the sausage. You well, know. <laughs> excuse me. Wait, <laughs> oh, did we get you choked up? I'm getting all choked <laughs> up. <laughs> but thanks, guys. Thanks. I'm better now. <laughs> excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, the, yeah. There's all kinds of options here. You could kind of experiment mm -hmm. quite a bit with this. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah. yeah, it's a good beer. So a strong try. It's all the way across. Yeah. Not too shabby. Yeah. From Fulton Brewing out of Minneapolis, the Thunder God. At seven, what did I say, seven point five percent in twenty IBU. So yeah, I, I think uh, try it out and let us know what you think. And you can get it also, of course, on tap at the at the brewery. But uh, that, that's always the best. Mm -hmm. that's Why a, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't sure. go wrong when it's fresh off the tap there. But uh, uh, a good offering from uh, the folks at Fulton. So yeah, there you go. There we go. Well, that's gonna do it for this Beer Guys TV broadcast. Thunder God <laughs> from Fulton Brewing, right, Brent? <laughs> Until next time for Shane and Brett, I'm Greg. Beer to <laughs> you. <laughs> there he is. There's the thunder god right there. Woohoo! Yeah. Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. Do you find it sweeter now? A little sweeter now. Yeah, I do too. The, the cocoa pops more. Mm -hmm. Cocoa but pops. But I'm getting that dry cocoa finish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right now. So yeah. you, after, after you have your sip, you wait 30 seconds, and then the dry cocoa just kind of hangs on it back your tongue, which I yeah. like. Yeah. You know. Not wrong with that? No. That's, uh, that's the kind of guy you are, stuff hanging <laughs> on the back of your tongue. <laughs> <laughs>